Hello everybody, today we're going to be demoing POS Made. Start with our login. And let's expand this. Okay, so POS Made. Um, POS Made software is part of our basic line. Um, it is a good low cost alternative um, for people who are trying to save some money. Uh, feature wise, it's got what most small businesses need. Um, who are you know pretty much just starting out? Um, it rings things up obviously. Uh, whether you want to scan it with a barcode and just you know beep beep scan it in, or if you w need to sell something that is not of a barcode, you can create a button for it. So you can see, click on misc miscellaneous gum pops up. Wants me to put it into inventory. Which I'll show you in a second here. Hit coffee. Coffee buttons pop up. So you can have as many categories, as many buttons in each category as you want. They just go right up here. But for most things, you will simply scan them with a barcode. All right. So let's go a little bit into our product entry screen. So let's say we're setting up something new, like gum. OK, so we type in, this is gum. It costs $5. That's expensive gum. It costs a dollar. OK, you can put a supply date there. Product class, we're going to say this is part of food. No shipping cost. Item picture, you can put a picture here. Location info, exact location. This is if there's a warehouse or anything like that. Here it's asking if you want it to track inventory if it's part of a matrix. Um, in this particular case, we're going to say do not track inventory. But um, if it was, um, it would ask for how much quantity you add, existing quantity, low stock alert. Um, this is, for example, if you're transferring stock in that you just received, you could quantity to add and It'll add it to whatever is here. You can track serial numbers if you need to. But for this right now, we're going to say do not track quantity. This is not an inventory item. Supplier name. For right now, we're just going to say none. Now, you got the supply price. We've got a markup percentage. Let's say we mark up everything 20%. Put that there. We're going to say 6% sales tax. It'll save the sales tax percentage by product class. The next time we put something into food, It'll automatically put the 6% there automatically. But as you can see, it took the supply price, the market percentage, and created your final selling price of $1.20. Um, you can also simply say that this costs $1.20 with a zero markup, and then that's it if you don't want to use the markup. But what the markup percentage is useful for is um, if you want to run a report that tells you how much profit you've actually made on things, then the markup percentage is important. Um, you can put a commission percentage over here. Um, whoever logs in and completes the sale would get whatever percentage commission is over here on their payroll. And then we click Add. Okay. So now when I click on Gum, it rings it up. Okay. And that's how you add products into the system in general as well. Uh, to cash out, very simple. Hit Tender. Say they gave you a $5 bill, hit the $5 key, click OK. Now, right now, it's popping up uh, the customer database screen. Uh, most retail stores would turn that off, but if you do want to track your customers, you certainly can uh, leave this enabled, but normally um, we would not do that. Uh, your drawer would pop open. There's your change. Receipt would print. You're good to go. So as you can see, it's a pretty simple interface. Uh, some of the things you can also do is you can click Custom Item. Okay, and you can basically ring up something um, like it's basically an open item. Say that. I sell it for five dollars. Six percent sales tax, and it rings it up as an open item, so to speak. So you can, if you need to ring something in on the fly, you certainly can do that. You can also kind of create a button that's a zero dollar amount, and then just hit edit price and just you know change that open price item to whatever you want okay so you can do that as well uh, and then we can just delete that of course or clear all either one so that is you know the basic interface when it comes to a sale very you know clean very simple let's go through some of the other functions here um, obviously as you saw before you've got your product entry here This is a list of your items, shows you 
exactly how much you have in stock and gives other you know stock related information here same thing in a different format gives similar information you can design and print coupons you can also print labels for barcodes as well uh, let's talk a about the cash management over here uh, one of the small downsides to this software is that it does not let you close multiple shifts out in a day. Um, you count your cash drawer once a day, which for you know most small places is what they do anyway. But um, if you're a place that you know has multiple shifts and you know multiple people who need separate cash accountability, uh, this software unfortunately will not do that for you. Um, we of course do have other software that can do that, um, but with this particular software, it will reset its sales automatically at midnight every night um, and you run the report um, anytime your 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 day is over you want to cash out your drawer you run this report you this does support multiple registers and it's the same with all the registers each register does have separate cash accountability but it um, it's only once per day profit report gives you your profit based on, as we saw before, uh, your starting price, your market percentage, final price, business traffic report, low stock report, customized reports when most people use. This gives you, for example, if you wanted to see a list of all your products that you sold on a specific date range, click that, calculates it, everything for specific customer, specific employee, specific class or department. And of course, you can also hit detail and run it for just a specific item or just a specific customer, you know, you can run these things, reports for everybody or specifics. Um, so very basic reports, you know, but for what most small, small businesses need, this will do what most people need it to do. Okay. A uh, quick note about credit card processing. Uh, these are the car companies that are built into the system. Uh, Merchant Warehouse, also known as Cayenne, Charger Pro, Char Xcharge, and Mercury. Um, if you want to use the credit cards that are built in to the system, you must use one of these four providers. You can, of course, however, always use your own credit card machine on the side. Um, we do recommend that you try to get an account with one of these four processors because it's obviously always much easier to simply swipe the card through the machine and have it take care of everything for you rather than having to reconcile a separate machine to what you're doing. Um, I know for sure that Mercury and Mercury Warehouse slash uh, Cayenne uh, both uh, do price matching guarantees where whatever bona fide rates you get quoted from somebody else, they will match those rates. So um, we do recommend, you know, if possible, using one of these built-in ones. But if you can't, if you're under contract, something like that, you can obviously use your own terminal. Some other setup things here. Um, obviously supports a cash drawer, uh, customer display poll, weight scale, quick menu buttons here, very easy to set up, add other categories and then add buttons into those category, very easily done, history, refunds, open cash drawer. Uh, this does also have a time clock, so you can put employees in the system and based on the permissions that you put for them, you know, you can make people have different permissions, they can either do refunds or not do refunds. You got your basic permissions here, and um, this will do payroll. Uh, it will let them punch in and out. Here's the time clock. Now, it doesn't do payroll in the sense where it'll figure out taxes or anything like that, but it will uh, give you a time clock report that has the total hours they worked and the total that they made. Okay. Got a customer database here that lets you do. A, f a couple of nice little things. Uh, you know, obviously, you can track the sales that they do. You can create mailing lists from it, things like that. Uh, the gift cards that you see here are built into your processor. Keep that in mind. So when you hit gift cards, uh, you must use those through your your either built-in processor or through your credit standalone credit card terminal. It does have a deposit layaway system built into the system as well. Uh, there's some basic accounting features here. Uh, most places don't really use that too much though, but it is there if you want to take a look at it. And one of the nice things about the software is that it does have online help. If you're you know, trying to learn some basics about the software, just have some basic questions, uh, you can click on that 
and it'll take you straight to the company's website where you can watch video tutorials. And that's built right into the system. Okay. So as you can see, you know, nice clean interface, you know, simple, uh, easy to use system. Uh, no big frills, you know, not not a lot of the high end, you know, features that some of the other software packages have out there. But you know, if you're looking to save some money, and you just have you know some basic needs, especially if you're upgrading from a cash register, you know, a world of difference, you know, from that world to to this basic POS here. Um, but that's basically it. Uh, as always, if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. Thank you very much.